everyone welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here my name is jenna and welcome back to the vlogs so i just got ready i had a little smoothie and hash brown situation this morning and then just curled my hair did my makeup and now i have this cute little dress on because i'm going to soho right now and if you guys can guess where i'm going i'll give you five dollars but probably like eight thousand of you are gonna guess where i'm going so i don't have enough money to pay all of you <laughs> um but this is also not a live video so i actually can't um i have two outfits to shoot and then i'm meeting avery so we're gonna go down to one of my favorite coffee shops if that gives it away a little bit and then we're gonna do this outfit and then i have another one that is packed in my little bag here and then i have this pair of heels that i'm gonna wear once I'm down there, honestly, this is disgusting, but I might just wear flip-flops on my way down because I don't want to put a pair of sneakers on because then I'll have to carry... Actually, no, I'll have the sneakers on because I won't want to walk around in heels. I don't really know, but <laughs> I am going to shoot with Avery and then I have a store appointment that I'm going to take you guys to, which I am so excited about because I have been watching YouTube for probably like two years now, if not more. And I know that's like kind of late for someone to get into like watching vlogs and styling videos and all that kind of stuff so um but a couple of my favorite creators have actually gone and done this service before so i'm just like yeah it's a really exciting moment and i'm very excited to take you guys with me i just cannot pick out a bag for the life of me i don't really have any i do have summer bags but they're white and they're like grayish white so i can't wear them with white things um, so I am just picking through here to see what I could wear. I mean, I could just do this little, not little, but because I'm bringing such a small like tote bag, I just want it to be like really lightweight and stuff. I might bring a bigger purse. So I have my little YSL sunset. I just feel like this is so wintry though. I don't know. I wish you guys could help me decide right now because I'm going to have white heels on. So I feel like this is like a pretty big black bag to have on. Normally I would do something like this because it's small. But I feel like I've been wearing this bag a ton. So maybe we'll just bring the double flap. I don't know. It always makes me nervous because this is my little baby. But we got to wear it. Otherwise, it was not worth it to buy it. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish getting ready quickly and then hop on the subway and go down into Soho with you guys. All right, you guys, we made it down into Soho. I'm currently on Grand Street walking down to Lafayette to go to Butler Coffee. And now is the perfect time for me to vlog because there's no one out here. It's like completely dead, if you guys can see. So pretty though. And the skies are a little bit gray, but I think we'll still be able to get some good pictures. I'm like kind of out of breath because I think I have like two minutes to get there and I know I'm not gonna be on time, but there are like delays on a couple of the trains. One's not even running this weekend. And to make things worse, I got on the uptown side because I'm used to doing that for work instead of going on the downtown side of the subway. So I almost got on one, but then I ran off like a little idiot, but at least I took the right train. And I'm almost at the coffee shop to meet Avery, so I'll talk to you guys when I get there. here with Avery. Hi. We just did two outfits. I didn't realize how deep this V was without like a tank top under it. <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, I don't think anyone saw my boobs though, so that's perfect. No nip slips. No nip slips. <laughs> Even if there were, I'm wearing covers anyway, just in case. So it wouldn't look that weird. But Avery's on her way to get her hair done. Yeah. So Thank exciting. God. And I am heading to the Ash, do you say Ash and Miu or Mayu? I think Miu. Miu, okay. So I'm heading to the store now. She went yesterday. Yeah, I got my bracelet. Yeah, so I'm excited to go there. Oh no, thank you. Um, oh, you got to go this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I am gonna head there now and go and do my bracelet. Hers is so cute. Yeah. Michelle. They're like little one. dainty. Yeah, you'll see. Cause I kind of, 
I think I want the same it's one. one. I saw it and I was like, I love the, um, it's kind of like a diamond cut. Yeah. Where it's like. A twist. Yeah. And it has like a little reflective thing. So it looks really pretty. And I'm going to get it on this wrist because this is where I keep all my bracelets. And then I put a watch on my other one. Or maybe I'll put it. I don't know. We'll figure out when we get there. But it's a little loud here. So I will talk to you guys when I'm in the store. Everyone say bye to Avery. Bye. <laughs> She'll be in another vlog soon, I promise. Yeah. Okay, you guys, looking a little greasy in the sunlight, but I just left Avery and I have about an hour before my appointment at Ashton and Miu. So I'm gonna go to Maman. It's like a little French cafe, not too far from here. So I'm gonna walk there now. It's like a five minute walk and then possibly get a decaf coffee because I feel like I couldn't enjoy <laughs> my coffee from Butler because it like melted so quickly and I didn't want to ask for more ice because I had already asked for more milk. So. I'm gonna head down there now. If not, I'll just get a little croissant or something because I think they're really good there. But yeah, a little bit of time in between and I've never been here before. So I'm excited to take you guys there too. And I've taken pictures outside there and never gone in. So very excited. I also need to change out of this like plunging V <laughs> because I don't want to go to a store visit like this. So I'm gonna change back into my dress, be all nice and covered and then head over to the jewelry store after that. Just finished at Maman. Got a little to-go cup for my coffee that has no ice left over in it and I'm heading over to the Ashton and Miu store and I left myself like 15 minutes to get there. It's only gonna take about 10. So I'm gonna have a nice little leisurely walk over there. Aside from me sprinting across the street right now because I'm not supposed to be crossing. But overall, I loved Momo. I just wish I had extra time because I basically had to like choke down my sandwich and didn't get to finish it. It was really good. It was like some sort of like brioche bun. Ooh, the Veja store. Maybe I'll go in there after just because I have nothing else going on today. Right there. Favorite sneakers ever. Mm. Passing the M Jewelers. Gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day out. And I'm so excited to go to this appointment, which I've already told you guys. I think I'm gonna take these bracelets off because I want to get it done on this wrist. But that's the plan. And talk to you guys when I get there. You guys, I made it to the store. This is actually the service that I'm gonna be getting done today, the welded bracelet. Such a nice storefront. It's so pretty and quiet down here. You guys definitely have to come if you are around. I'm gonna go in and check out some of the things that they have. just finished at my bracelet appointment. It's so pretty. The light reflects off of it and it's just like such a good idea. Like if you do it with your sisters or with like your best friend or something, I feel like that's such a good gift. Like if with your mom maybe for like her birthday or something, because Mother's Day has already passed, but I love that they do this and I've never heard of any other brand doing like a welded bracelet. So I think that's so cool. And you get to have like this beautiful Soho experience when you go. Um, I, I kind of want to go and do a little bit of, not buying, just shopping. So I saw the Diptyque store when I was coming down here. My Labo is right here, but I can't afford things in there. So maybe I'll go and get myself a little baby Diptyque as a little, you know, treat for myself. But it's a gorgeous day, so I kind of want to spend some time down here. And now that I have my Converse on, we are good to go forever. Because these are my most comfortable sneakers. Well, most comfortable lifestyle sneakers. Okay, I'm back at my apartment and obviously I keep the air conditioning off when I'm not here, but it's definitely necessary right now. I need to just put on some Aquaphor quickly. I washed my hands when I got home, by the way, 
because that would be disgusting. Um, I also made myself a lemon water. Basically the second that I walked in the door because I went to Butler with Avery and because we were like running around, I felt like I couldn't like stop and enjoy my coffee and all the ice cubes melted and it was room, like not room temperature, but it wasn't like cold. So I ended up going to Maman because I had some time before my store appointment at Asher and Miu. So this is the bracelet. It's so, so pretty. It's like a diamond cut chain and they fit it and cut it based on your own wrist size. So it's not like a one size fits all. It's like custom for you. And then they weld it on. So there isn't a clasp or anything, which I love because it's a nice, thin, simple design. And I think it looks so pretty with my bracelet that I have on here. This one is from my mom, like me and my mom, my sisters all have the same one. It has the guardian angel on it. And then I have a little charm from when I was in Greece one year. And I normally have my other like um, beads by Z bracelets on, but I took them off for the service, but I think it's gonna look so nice as like a little stack. Or if I wanted to go for a really sophisticated look to an event or something, I can take all my bracelets off and only have this one. And that's what I love about it. I feel like you can wear it like really casually as a stack and then also really simple. Um, and then I was a big fat idiot and went to the Diptyque store. <laughs> and I was telling you guys, I was gonna shop around a little bit in, Dip in Soho, not in Diptyque. And I went into the store and I was like obsessed with all of them. So basically, I got the roses candle as a gift from one of my best friends, Megan, and I love the way that it smelled and it took, it was maybe, this is um, a, what candle is this? A nest candle. It was probably around this size, maybe even smaller. And I didn't burn it every day, but I had it for maybe like four months. Like anytime I like left it on by accident, obviously while I was still at the apartment, it took forever to burn. So. These candles are a little bit more expensive and I definitely know that, but what I did was went into the store, tried out a bunch of the other ones because I loved the roses one, but I also kind of wanted to try something new. I feel like I'm screaming. <laughs> Maybe because no one's here and I'm just talking to myself. Um, but I went in and tried a, lo a lot of the other scents and I ended up going with this Bayes one. So I've seen so many people with this candle. It's like, crazy and you guys know that normally I'm the type of person that likes to do the opposite of what everybody else does and I smelled it and I was like no I feel like I have to get this one and I knew it the second that I smelled this one first but I just had the girl like show me other ones just in case there were other things that I liked but I ended up going with that one it was like a $70 candle I'm not gonna lie to you guys and it's very uncharacteristic of me to spend that much money on something so like, I don't know, like so easily accessible to get those like cheaper at other brands. Like my Bath and Body Works candles are like $13. So basically I could have five of those as opposed to having one of these. But the design of this is almost like a home decor thing for me. So I know that I'm not gonna burn that like every single day, it's gonna be like a special occasion candle. And like maybe if I have like my parents come to visit or something, I'll light this. But it's more so going to be for like a, um, like a, I don't know, it's like a decor item. And I think that like candles are like decor and the ones that I have like aren't cute. <laughs> I love the sense of them, but they're like purple colored wax and all this stuff. And this is just like a plain like glass case with this design on it. I'll like insert a picture of one here, but they're so pretty, such a nice table piece. Like I am actually moving. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys, but we have to find a new apartment and I am just really excited to decorate it. So I wouldn't mind having this on the coffee table as long as no one burns it because <laughs> it's a special occasion candle. Um, but I'm just like, I don't know. I normally like something like this, I would feel like so dumb for buying, but I just don't feel that way about this one just because I know it's gonna be a decor item that I can have in my apartment for like literally two years. So, you know, that's me justifying it. I don't think, I, like when I was buying it, I was like, oh, maybe if I like feel like crap about buying it, I'll just return it afterwards. But I just don't even feel like I wanna do that. Um, but yeah, so that was the only purchase that I made. And then I went into another like clothing store and they had some cute stuff, but because I bought the candle, I was like, I can't spend anything else today. It's like everything in moderation. I always joke on here that I'm like poor because I pay New York City rent, but I'm very strict about like spending money. So I'm not the type of person to go and buy like a bunch of like really cheap clothes and have a lot of clothes. I'm more like minimal to the point where like, 
I'll buy a nice little like tailored piece and maybe it's a little bit higher, like maybe it's $70 instead of me buying a $30 blazer. So that's just like my mentality and I've been like that probably for the past like year and a half, two years. And especially being in like the Instagram like kind of world, I feel like it's really easy for me to like over consume and I feel like I haven't done that too much considering how many like people that I follow and how many things that I want. So I'm definitely okay with this purchase. I'm kind of surprised that I am, but I am. So I decided on my walk home, it's only like 12.45, which is crazy. It feels like it's 3 p.m. And I have so much light in my room. It's supposed to be cloudy, but it's not. So I want to film a like summer city outfits video because I just have so many clothes that I've been wearing that I absolutely love. And I want to share them with you guys in like one collective like styling video. I also haven't done any styling videos in a while because I've been loving vlogging recently because I can kind of like throw in like the lifestyle and fashion content all into one video. But I want to do a styling video. I'm feeling like very inspired and it's because I've had so many outfits over the past like three weeks that I love. So I just want to like compile all of them together. So just in case you guys are new here and you don't have like the time to go through and watch all of my old vlogs, I'll have like one styling video that will have all of those outfits kind of put together. So I'm going to get ready for that. I need to set up my clothing rack and because I had such like a late, I ate, I had a smoothie for breakfast and I also had a lemon water and then I went down and had a coffee and then what else did I have? Oh, and then I went to Mama and had the sandwich, which was really, really good, but I had to choke it down because I had to get to my other appointment and the service was a little bit slow. That's my only like gripe about them, um, but it was really pretty and I loved the experience. So I will probably just have ricotta toast if I end up getting a little bit hungry because I basically already had lunch, but it was at like 10, no, it was like 11.15 when I had lunch. So that's like kind of weird. <laughs> so my schedule is just thrown off a little bit and I will just make myself something small if I end up getting hungry, but, but I'm gonna get the clothing wrap ready to go, film that video, and I'm like possibly gonna edit it right afterwards because I'm really excited to get that done for you guys and I'll probably put on a YouTube video to watch while I get everything together. Okay, so I just pulled everything that I want to style and put it on my clothing rack here right in front of the mirror and then where I'm standing right now, I'll put the camera. So that's normally how I film my little um, styling videos. And then once I'm done with this, I'll move the clothing rack out of the room and then put the camera here and this is where I do my cutaways. <laughs> so I kind of just make do with the space that I have but I have this cute little white linen dress that I literally just got in. I showed you guys that yesterday. Black trousers, my aloe onesie, like things that you guys have probably already seen me wearing recently in my vlogs, but that's why I'm just putting it all in one video. So if you guys wanna see all these outfits, I'm gonna link the video for you guys in the description box so you can watch it. But yeah, obviously we have a neutral color palette going here. I wanted to include some color, but my green dress is at home because my sister borrowed it for her friend's bachelorette party. So we're going with the black, white, gray, a little bit of denim color palette here. And I normally tend to like stick with a certain like number of tones when I do these videos anyway. So yeah, this is what it's gonna be. And I'm gonna shoot this now and then I'll do cutaways after. So it is a couple, not a couple, it's a lot of hours later. <laughs> I am currently just doing some nighttime skincare. I used the Dr. Dennis Gross peel treatment and I've been using it every other day because my skin can get a little bit dehydrated sometimes and it says to use it every other day if you're like prone to dryness. So I've been doing that and then I'm just putting on my La Roche-Posay eye cream. I finally finished my Neutrogena one and I think I inherited this from my mom, but she gets so excited every single time that she finishes something and now i just had a little moment of joy for that too i'm almost done with this too it's the the roche posay night moisturizer just because i don't know i like having a separate routine for morning and night but in terms of like having a whole separate moisturizer and stuff like that i think it's just easier to have one product as opposed to having a morning like moisturizer and a nighttime one except I'm gonna take that back because I know they do different things. So um, obviously like nighttime is like restoring and all of that kind of stuff. And then maybe something during the day just has different benefits to it. And that way I can get both in one day's time. So 
yeah, just a little bit tired and contradicting myself. <laughs> but I was just watching the Victoria's Secret documentary on Hulu. It's a little bit different than what I thought it was going to be, but it's very interesting so far. And so I think there's three episodes. I don't know if it's three episodes total or if that's all that has been released so far, but we'll see. I'm just drying off my teeth <laughs> because I'm gonna apply my um, teeth whitening pen. I think I told you guys about this. This is the one that I have. It's just called the Colgate Optic White Overnight. And it basically has these little bristles and you just paint it onto your teeth and they get whiter. I've already noticed a difference and it says within one week it clears up to 15 years of stains. And mine are mostly like coffee stains, I think. I don't really know what else causes stains besides coffee. Um, but it's been helping a lot so far. And this is how we're ending out the night. Super exciting Saturday night, but I did get a lot done during the day. So I think that's why I kind of wanted to have a more chill night. I had some leftovers, um, cleaned up the aftermath of my styling video, got that all edited and it's gonna be up tomorrow. So like I said before, I'll link that for you guys in the description if you wanna watch it. Um, but we're gonna end off this Saturday vlog because tomorrow I will start a whole new one. So thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I love taking you guys down to Soho. It's like my favorite part of New York City. So anytime I get to go down there, it's always really, really fun. And I'm glad I get to take you guys with me. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, then make sure you do. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys in my next video.